The water being hauled into Juba on these trucks is now too expensive for many in the capital. With the price of water rising, for some in Juba, safe water is too expensive. The price is increasing. If you ask them, why are you increasing every day? Others are coming with different prices. They say, ah, oh, you know the problem is fuel. No fuel, no water, so it's going high. But even those who can afford water from the trucks have to do more to have the water clean enough to drink. The water is dirty, dirty. They are bringing direct from the water, if you can see. Then they, they say that they are putting chlorine. But this chlorine, we don't realize it. After you pour, you bring your own chlorine, you put it inside to be clean or for filtration. The longest river in the world, the Nile, passes through Juba, but there isn't much infrastructure in place to get this water to the city's residents. And while there is a water treatment plant, it only supplies a small part of the city. The design capacity of this treatment plant is 7,200 cubic meters per day. Uh, however, we are not uh, reaching that, we are not meeting that uh, the capacity due to the uh, decrease of uh, uh, operational hours due to availability of uh, fuel, the shortage of fuel, we reduced to 18 hours, 20 hours, sometimes to 10 hours even per day. There is little hope for many here that the situation will soon improve. Some of the water projects that had been started by the government were halted due to civil war, which has plagued the country for years. 100 liters of untreated water costs up to one and a half dollars for those who reside closer to the Nile. The price is even higher for those who live far away from the river. Since many here can't afford the price, some residents are now using borehole water, which may be clean but is extremely salty. Patrick Coyette, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.